Hey guys, Joby here from Kettlebell Kickboxing Canada. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about that foam mobility swing and about just getting your start. Because sometimes the bigger part is getting yourself to the gym, getting yourself in your space, in wherever you live, turning on that program that you're training. So that is almost your first step. Well, it is your first step always that you need to accomplish. Now, when you get to that spot when you're doing your program, your next thing is, what are you gonna train? Now, there's so much out there to train. I wanna tell you that basic movements, basic skills, that's what's gonna get you started. If you're very, very new to training, you might just be movement. Movement will be your training, you know, practice getting up and down off the mat. We talk about that a lot. So, bringing the kettlebell in, I often get people ask me what kind of swings they should be doing. Should they be doing the American standard, standard overhead swing, squat swings? And I always say go back to the, your basic, your great swing is our full mobility swing. Now if you're new to the swing, some things you're going to have to just practice is learning how to hip hinge. Hip hinge is folding at the waist. We do a lot of knee bending, so often this is a challenging movement for us. So if you were to come to me, we would start you off with a very basic movement of just folding at the waist, touching that handle, coming tall, squeezing those glutes at the top. Then we're going to introduce actually grabbing that kettlebell because if you're new to the bell, it's going to be, you know, a little bit intimidating. You're going to stand tall. Now you want to just do little bends over. I don't need you to go all the way down. So you're just going to tilt those hips back. Come nice and tall, and again, before we even jump into swinging the bell, we're gonna practice the motion first. So, you're gonna fold at the hips, drop your arms as if you're gonna swing, make sure your shoulders are back. We're gonna drive the kettlebell as close to our hips as we can, thrust our hips so it's shoulder height, letting it fall back to that same spot. Then we would introduce grabbing the bell, driving it back, and swinging to the top. Just letting it swing, like a pendulum, squeezing your glutes out of the top and setting it back down exactly where we got it from. So, great swing to start with. Don't need to go into any fancy swings. I love the other swings too. It's always my go-to swing. So, I hope that helps you get started. You can join us in class or with trainers across the country or you can join our KB Live and we will take you through just like we did this morning. Have a great day.